Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you about variables in Circuits V2. First of all, you want to go to this room, Settings, General Setup, Second Page, Allow Creative Tools Beta Content, and then press OK. Your room will save as to, as to make sure it properly adds CV2. After that, if I open my palette, there we go, I have the Circuits V2 pa page. So first of all, to find variables, you want to go into the search, go down, and find variables. Now there are uh, these ones, which are the original variables. Or not the originals, but they're not lists or anything, so. First of all, uh, variables are used to store a certain value of a certain thing. Um, like an integer one will store whatever number is input into here. Which you can input a set value through here if you really wanted to. But it's not really worth it um, in the long run. Uh, but for things like AI, you ha you can't have a set value because you can't just set a v an AI that's not, that doesn't exist. So the way you set these is, I'm just going to get an integer variable and a button v2. Now, if I wire this exec uh, execution into there, and I set this as, let's say, 1. Now, when I press this button, this value return will turn into 1. If I grab the show notification chip, and a two string, Now, whenever I press this, it'll tell me whatever number I input into here. So if I input, let's say 7, it'll now say 7 on my screen, as that's what this variable has stored. So no matter what, this variable will stay the same, unless it's overwritten. Um, and there are many different variables for many different values um, that can be stored. So if I look at these, you have AI, which is... Obviously, like the AI that runs around the room, like goblins, um, crescendo dogs, stuff like that. Booleans is a true or false value, which as you can see, I can toggle it. But since I don't overwrite the value, it never has a value to start with. Well, I believe it starts on um, false um, in the actual Boolean, since I haven't done anything with it. But that's a different thing. Combatant would be AI or player. Float would be numbers that have that support decimals. Integers are numbers that are just one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. Um, it even supports negatives. Rec room uh, variable player would be a player in the room. If you give it a if you give it a value, then it'll set that as the it'll set that as the value inside. And you can do whatever to said you can do whatever you want to said player. Rec room object would store any object. So like these walls are an object. This cube is an object. Stuff like that. Uh, a string value would be any text. Um, you can put anything in here and it will save it as whatever. Um, and then there's vector 3 which is a position um, with an XYZ value um, that you can overwrite using vector create. Now, whatever you put into here will be a position value in this room or a direction. Now, for the for these other ones, lists, um, you can make a list by C two. Make list. Huh. What happened to that ship? List add. So this one allows you to add anything to a list. Uh. Huh. Ah, let's create. There it is. 
So this, whatever you input into here, it'll create into a list, which you can remove inputs or add more inputs. Um, you probably shouldn't need anything over like 10 inputs ever. Um, but basically, these ones support list values, which list values can be used to do different things. Like if I do this, I can have a different order of of true and falses, and these will all save into one value. So if I want to have many, many values all put into one singular value that you can look at at many different, uh, you can use many different chips with it, then that's how you do it. And there's one for all of the uh, chips. As you can see, um, and one last thing about these is I'm just going to grab a float variable. Now if I edit this, this synced basically local if I pressed a button um, and I got a prompt and set it and set a number in here through the prompt, the variable will only hold the number to my to my instance. Uh, so on, so anything that regards that number like impulses of a speed will only work for me. Now, if you turn on the sync thing, the uh, sync setting, which shows up right there, this will mean that whoever, no matter who sets it or how it's set, the number will always be the same for everyone. This is good if you're making uh, like different types of things that require everybody to have the same types of values. Um, but this is just a quick demonstration about variables and their use. Now, what I can do with a variable, uh, like let's say an integer variable, I can have Now, if I press this, every time I press this, it'll go up, um, and this number is, uh, only stored for me, um, technically, but I believe this shows 10 to every player in the room, but if I turned on synced, then it resets it, obviously, because it's going back to what the server has, but if I turn to this, yeah, it resets every time due to it having to deal with all the values and stuff, but this just, uh, this is now synced for every player, so if a different player joined this room and started clicking this button, it'll set this to, let's say, 11 because that's because it's on 10 right now. But um, that's just a simple demonstration of variables. Um, as always, have fun with your CV2 creating.